What's up, everybody? Today we've got more Walmart comic books. <coughs> now, for I'm being told, and I've seen people say, there is a certain Spider-Man 24, I don't know, some kind of weird sketch cover people are finding in the Captain Marvel ones. I don't know anything about it. I've just seen people try to ask way too much money. So, my Walmart, I didn't take any of these when they first came out because I'm not a Captain Marvel person. <clears throat> so, either way, and I might as well round it out by an extra symbiote Spider-Man. So, either way, guys, let's go one for one, get them done with, and see if there's anything worth keeping. So, uh, the Venom and the other ones I've already opened were definitely like, I don't know if you want to call them second prints or what they want to call them, but they're definitely variants from the other Walmart ones. The names were different all the way. Guessing we're going to get probably four lenticular covers out of here. I've seen, uh, so I slotted up, open up one with a lenticular cover I've not seen yet. I can already tell we have a lenticular cover. No, we don't. Nope. A Captain Marvel soundtrack. Can't be that interesting. Let's see what it is. War of the Realms. Huh. Number two. Variant cover. I'm not sure. I, I've never read War of the Realms, so that's kind of cool. Huh. Different. I don't think it's anything big. It's a little spine rolled, but could be flattened out if need be. Next up. We have the Mightiest Avengers, number 29, second printing. Why they made a second printing of this, I have no idea. And of course, the Symbiote Spider-Man, I don't know. First print, second print, a variant edition. So, don't know. I have a bunch of Symbiote Spider-Man number ones now. So, cool. Nothing I'm getting rid of yet. I mean, eh. Let's try out the first. This feels... This one's heavier. One feels a little bigger, so this one's definitely going to have at least one lenticular cover in here. <clears throat> no big deal. <sighs> I have a lot of videos coming, guys. I also have a bunch that are older videos, so you're going to notice ones that just never got put up. So, I've, I'm already set through the end of the year on weekly videos. <laughs> I don't know when this one's going to go out. It could go out the end of the year. Who knows? But, yep, yep, there's a lenticular cover on this one. Ooh, the Dreamers. <clears throat> Heat Seeker. I don't know this band, but let's see the comic. Yay! A Spider Woman number one. How many covers do they make of this damn book? I don't know who the cover is. It starts with a B. I know that much. It's pretty sad when I can't read the covers and I'm reading glasses on. Doesn't say who the cover, who the front cover is. Yeah, well, I guess not. J. Scott Campbell. Eh, it could be any of those people right there, I guess. Art Germ did one. A bunch of people did one. It started with a B, so let's see. Can we see? Uh, Peach Pomoko did one. I know that. Oh, must be Bruce Tim. Yep, that would be a Bruce Tim cover. It's got damage along the spine. Not really worth keeping. Now, which one do we get? Ooh, the Giant Size X-Men one. I like this one. And it's also Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance number... Uh, I can't see what number it is. I lo oh, there we go. Uh, I don't. I have this one already, but I thought I did at least. It is Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance number. Let's see if I can get a look at it. Oh, I can hear my son cackling in the other room. Uh, it just says Spirit of Vengeance is a number one. Okay. Oh, duh. Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance number one, but with one particular cover. And of course, the Captain Marvel. We all know. Eh, it's not worth, yeah. Yeah, some of these are going to go right into the, uh, let's see. That was another damaged one. <clears throat> That's going right in the, we don't need any more just because they're too damaged to keep and pressing ain't going to give them out. So put them in the 50 cent bin if anybody wants them. Good reader copies, I guess. Going to have to have a garage sale next summer and get rid of a bunch of stuff. Okay. Two more chances, maybe we'll get that Spider-Man, maybe we won't, it doesn't really matter. So first up, might be the same exact books. Nope. Age of Conan Bailet. I have no idea what this is. Didn't even know they had a different Age of Conan book. <clears throat> oh well, not bad, no, it's the number one variant. It's a good keeper for now. And the second one is Marauders number five. Second printing. Okay. Definitely Iceman in the cover. Huh, interesting. And of course, our Captain Marvel. This is one in better shape, I hope. And it's got one pressable. We'll hold on to it for now. It's looking pretty good shape. 
Okay, final chance. Probably a slim to none chance we're getting the Spider-Man one everybody else wanted. But hey, there was still a Venom annual sitting there, but yeah, that was, wasn't real. I'm okay with not buying many more of these. A lot of these books I don't need. At least we've only gotten one uh, lenticular out of these. So, let's see. Oh, this looks like the <laughs> same backing type of books as in the last one. First one. Oh, it's going to be the same exact books. Age of Conan. Billet. This one's got damage. It goes in the throwaway. And, of course, Marauders number 5. Now they're putting the same books again in uh, multiples of these. Oh, well. And, of course, a damaged... Wow, this thing's really beat up. Captain Marvel number one. I don't think it's anything special. So, out of those, I'll keep these for now. I'm happy with the Spider-Man. I think these two are my other good ones. Maybe the War of the Realms number one. Number two. <laughs> but who knows. I feel a sneeze coming on, guys. So I'm going to let you go. <sighs> if this comes out in the new year, have a good New Year's. And I'll talk to you soon. But that's it for tonight.